This wasn't the plan. Ah, but who cares about plans nowadays? Today, plans are made to be broken. Much like promises. Though a promise is much like a plan. Or is a plan much like a promise? Neither's easy to stick to. But the glue hasn't dried yet. Or it was never glue to begin with. What makes it glue? I thought this would stick. How dumb was I to think that this would finally stick? Well, maybe your brain just can't fit into this situation. Probably as dumb as I was to storm out in the middle of the night without a jacket. We all have our moments. Because if not, we'd all be doing the same things over and over again. And that's already been done before. Or is it happening again? Hi. Hi. I feel like I've heard that before. May I sit down? It depends. Please. I just want to... I just need to see what we have left. Then this might be the right place. I remember you got me this shirt when you took me to see Copper Roses for the first time. You were so cute. You pulled me out of my dorm saying that we had to do this right, that this would perfectly kick off my love for this band. We got there at five. <laughs> they went on at nine. We were so close to the stage that I couldn't hear the music, but I just watched you. I looked over at you and saw everything they were singing. I still do. It is only when you hear the music again that you know the feeling. It overturns. I brought you your coat. Why did you come after me? Thought you might be cold. Why did you come after me? By the way you bolted out like that, I knew you'd forgotten your coat. Why did you come after me? You can never think straight when you're upset. Amy, just shut up and tell me why you came after me. Because. Uh, the apple may not fall far from the tree. <laughs> But at least gravity gives it a chance. And, and maybe it'll branch out. Or it will die. And maybe it just dies. Amy, just go home. No. I say because, and you say... You should go home. It's late and you're going to catch a cold. And you say, because I love you. And it's always. Or is it never? I came out here tonight because I love you, Amanda. And I would come out here if it was a snowstorm or acid rain, even if the world went up in flames, because I love you. And I know you'd do the same for me. You'd do anything, because we have it. But what if that's not enough? What if it's not enough, Amy? You're just not looking hard enough. We've had it for years. Right now you can't see it. Because it's not there. It's like the sun and the stars. It's like Jupiter. I can't see Jupiter right now. Maybe there's someone who can, but I can't. We just know it's still there, somewhere. Jupiter is still there. It has to still be there. Two letters that can mean so much. It can be love. It can be friendship. It can be comfort. It can be everything and nothing, and anything, all in two letters. We're not Jupiter. Why not? Because. But I love you. That should be all we need. I know that's enough. Amy. Are you saying that it's not? And we aren't. We can just forget about it. 
let's go back to being who we were. We can go away on vacation. We can go see copper roses. Come on, let's just believe. Can't we just be Jupiter? We can't keep pretending to be Jupiter. It's not fair to the astronomers out there. But this isn't fair to us. I don't think it gets to be. Do you wanna talk about it? Do you wanna talk about her? Amanda, I can't tell myself your story. I'm not going anywhere until we get past this. Just start from the beginning and we'll see where we end up. We end up here. We can move on from this. We've hit bumps before, but we've moved past them together. We may end up here right now, but we can't end here. Amy, listen to yourself. When someone comes home to find another girl in her bed, she's supposed to be upset. Why aren't you upset? I was there, you were there, she... She was there? Just tell me how it happened, Amanda. Just tell me what happened. She's just a friend. She was just a friend. I met her at work. She always comes in and gets a small black coffee and a cherry donut. Every day at the same time, or so I thought. Then I worked a few of Daniel's shifts and she didn't come in, so I asked around if anyone had seen her. I guess she had figured out my schedule and only came in when I was working. At first I thought it was, you know, creepy, but then she came in the next day right on time. She smiled at me. Kind of like she had it figured out that I had it figured it out. <laughs> and it was slow, so when she sat down I took off my apron and went over. All we did was talk. It was just talking. She told me that she's pre-med. Her dream is to go work with Doctors Without Borders. She wants to save the world. She thinks she can save the world. So where did it go from there? That was it for like three weeks. I mean, sometimes I would draw like a heart or a smiley face on her cup, but that was all it was. Then how did we end up here? One night it was dead to the point that Andre and I were playing cards and the uh, bell rings and she's just standing there in these knee-high leather boots and a fringed mini skirt and she was looking at me. She didn't even notice Andre, just me. Do you know what that feels like? I get that fe feeling when you look at me. Don't say that. We went out for drinks after my shift and her eyes were so big and bright in the dark of the bar and then I don't know if it was that she leaned in first, or maybe it was me. I don't know if it matters. No, of course it matters. I leaned in and I kissed her. I kissed her. I thought that I would be fine and that we could just move on and just be friends. And then I came home and saw you cuddled around my pillow the way it always is. I saw how our life was and I just knew. I just knew that I couldn't do that to you. But of course I did because here we are. Do you love her? No. Do you want to be with her? No. Do you want to sleep with her again? I don't think so. Do you want to sleep with me again? Of course. Do you still love me? I'll never stop. Then we don't have a problem. Yes, we do. Amy, this is a problem. No. We don't have to let this be a problem. We can move on, just like we've done before. It can just be something that we forget about. Maybe it's something that you can forget, but I can't. I can't stop thinking about it. I don't want to be thinking about it. I really don't want to think about it. Then don't. We can just move on. Move forward. Let's keep moving forward. This isn't forward. I don't know why I didn't see it before, but we can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing this. I guess I've been holding on because of something. Maybe I thought it would be too much work to move on, but trying to climb up this hill is even harder. We climbed up together and then I messed up and pushed us off the cliff. I let us fall, Amy. I let you fall. But I'm okay. No broken bones. I'm not bleeding. Everything's okay. Are you sure? Even if so, what about me? I keep doing this, Amy. I keep taking what's not mine and thinking it will turn out fine. Well, guess what? It's not fine. I'm not fine. 
I cheat and I lie and I play with people's minds till they break in my hands and I'm about to shatter yours, but I'm even closer to killing mine. This can't be okay. The problem is buried under so many connections and correlations that even if I could see it, I can't slice it away without scrambling all the rest. It's too late. My brain has sent out the message about my heart or, or my hormones don't seem to understand. I can't live like this. I don't want to be stuck. I'm tired of this. I'm tired. I can't understand. I can't understand the bullshit. I'm so tired of all this bullshit in my life. That's not me and it's not my life. Why did you do this to me? I'm not in control anymore. A child can walk a hundred miles without knowing that an hour has passed. But once that innocence has eroded away, you have to learn to swim or else the water will swallow you whole. Unless that's what you want. Grow or die, it's up to you. Of course it starts to rain now. <laughs> Just dig the knife in deeper. You've been holding the knife, Amanda. You always hold the knife. I know. It's time for you to go home, Amy. But I don't want to. I'm not ready. If it's raining now and it's already cold, you're gonna get sick and- You don't get to decide this. I'm not going home. Because if I go home, you're not going to. You'll sit here all night and then run away like you always do and I'll lose you. I'm not leaving because I'm not gonna lose you. I don't care if I'm being selfish or foolish. I'm not going to lose you. I believe we have something special. And I'm not going to let you throw it out the damn window because you're bored. I won't let you do this because I'll regret it and I know you will too. Amy, go home. What if... What if this is it? What if I am meant to stay with you for the rest of my life? How can you do this to me if you love me? How can you be okay with letting this go? If I let you go and you're my one, then I'm done. I can't be done. I'm not gonna give up on this. I need to try. Then go home. Today is just one day. One stone that raises the banks of your river and every single other river. It was a tomorrow. It'll be a yesterday if the next tomorrow rises. <laughs> Today was just one day. It's just one more stone, but it still dictates where the water flows and the river rushes to. But for right now, it's just uh, today. And I think it's better that way. Amy starts to walk off stage, shirt and coat in hand. She drops the shirt before she exits. Amanda waits a moment before going to follow, sees the shirt on the floor. She picks it up and stands between where Amy had exited and where she was before. Stuck. Maybe there had never been any glue to begin with. At least maybe not here.